Hey, what's up, pop-up camper fam? Welcome back to It's Poppin', where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So in this video, I wanna go over how we clean our pop-up camper bag awning. Now, this is gonna be for our 2008 Jayco Select 12HW, but you guys might have, you know, uh, um, another pop-up camper essentially that might have a different type of awning. You might have like one of those Dometic trim lines or something like that. I'm pretty sure our awning is propi pro pro proprietary to Jayco. Um, and because it just seems like a different construction than what I've seen in the past. However, the bag is very similar. The awning is very similar to those Dometic trim lines. So the, ba the bag is made out of vinyl. The awning itself is made out of vinyl, so I think this should all apply and we'll cover what we use to clean each of those things. So, starting off, and if you guys have watched our how to clean your pop-up camper canvas, but that's colloquially, more or less your vinyl on your canopy, you'll note that this is um, almost the exact same method uh, for the awning that we used for the vinyl on the canvas or canopy. Essentially what we do is we will fill up a bucket with, oh, I don't know, let's say a gallon of water, and then we will take a degreaser. Now, in this instance, we have some actual Camco um, RV awning cleaner, but essentially I think it's just degreaser. So we're gonna use up the rest of that, but a, a cheaper option would be to pick up something like uh, we have a mean green degreaser here uh, we've also used this la's totally awesome orange degreaser and finally we've had uh, good luck using the super clean degreaser all of them work well they're essentially the same product just depends on probably what you want to spend and what you can find locally so what we do is we dilute down and <laughs> we never measure it out i don't know if i had to guess maybe four ounces or something into a gallon of water and that is kind of our cleaning solution. Then what we do next, of course, we have our awning off the camper and rolled out. You can do this on the driveway, the lawn, whatever you wanna do. Just make sure you don't, of course, drag your awning along the driveway. It could definitely uh, scratch it up and hurt it. So once you have your degreaser solution made up, what we do is we take a, a larger um, bristle broom brush and dip that into our cleaning solution just to get some of that um, cleaning solution on the awning. We don't scrub hard and it's more of a soft bristle brush. It's just really to get that solution on there and worked in. That way it has some time to work on your awning. Now, what we'll do after that is we will take these guys. So these of course are like Miracle erasers. They're the generic form of the magic eraser. Whatever you want to use, both of them work well. And we will actually go through, put these into the degreaser solution and start scrubbing away. It takes a little while, especially when you have a 13 foot awning like we do. Now, if you only have maybe like a seven foot, definitely go a lot quicker. So once that's done, and I, I will say, what we'll tend to do is take the hose and rinse off every once in a while just to kind of see where we've cleaned, continue on, put more degreaser on, use the magic erasers and all that. Now, you're gonna to wanna to rinse and repeat, no pun intended, for both sides of your awning.
then subsequently, if you really want to go all out and really make sure you do the best or right by your awning, you guys can put on some sort of UV protectant. Now, a product that we've, you know, told a lot of you guys in the past is this protect all but from what I've been seeing it's really either gone up in price or it's just not as available making the price go up it used to be like eight or ten dollars a bottle and now it's closer to 20 so we've been uh, testing out like some of this stuff from chemical guys this is a VRP this is a vinyl rubber and plastic protectant um, of course it's a, a UV protectant and then chemical guys also makes this silk shine protected also for vinyl rubber and plastic um, and also uv protected so you could absolutely throw that on um, wipe it on and that way your awning is good to go but to be honest we don't use our awning that often and i don't know it's just we don't moving on to the bag part of your bag awning Ours is made out of vinyl. So we do the exact same thing on the bag, minus using any scrub brushes. It's really not necessary. Once again, degreaser solution with your magic erasers. It really will clean it up nicely. And then actually for the bag, because that is exposed to the sun significantly more, if it's just hanging on your camper and not in use, that's where we'll bring in the protective, the protect all, the VRP, the silk shine protectant, you know, and actually put that on so that way that vinyl um, is a little bit more protected from UV rays and things of that nature. So that's essentially how we go about cleaning our pop-up camper. Now I know I mentioned using a soft bristle brush and, and being kind of conservative with that, not, not going too, um, too crazy. If you're gonna use a, a pressure washer like we have in the past, um, and we've had good luck using a, a relatively you know, low um, PSI pressure washer, it's just an electric one with of course like a 45 degree um, fan tip and not getting too close, of course, we've, we've had good luck and we've gotten away with using a pressure washer on our awning as well. If you wanna go that route, just of course be careful with it realize that um, you don't want to damage your your awning with that pressure washer if you get too close or things of that nature. So once you're done with that, your awning is going to look really good. You'll be impressed, I promise. Just to reiterate and a few final thoughts for this video, all you really need is some sort of degreaser. You can pick up some magic erasers and then pick up some sort of vinyl UV protectant. That's all you really need. I know we have a lot of options here that we've kind of been testing out and things of that nature, but if you pick up those three items, of course having access to a garden hose or a pressure washer or um, a soft bristle brush, you'll be in business. You'll be able to get your pop-up camper awning looking like new in no time. So as always guys, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.